All right, for the new SAT 2016, um, you're going to get questions like this. Um, these types of questions come under the topic of passport to advanced math. Um, what the SAT, the College Board, the guys who write the SAT are trying to do here is try to make sure that students are uh, be really being challenged on the SAT with some of the more advanced math. And this is an example of the kind of question you could get. So let's look into this question. It says the question above expresses the approximate height h meters uh, of a ball t seconds after it's launched vertically upwards from the ground um, with an initial speed of 25 meters per second after approximately how many seconds will the ball hit the ground so pretty much what we have is if it's to draw an image it looks kind of like this okay so the ball is coming out and kind of doing that right you can imagine it going up down, down but some kind of curve is what's happening here actually mathematically if you really think about this um, formula here this formula here this is a quadratic equation uh, if you're familiar with the quadratic equation rules at all one of the things you notice is that if this was a positive um, curve here say this had been 4.9 t squared plus 25 t where it's positive instead of this negative your graph will need to look kind of sort of like that the, the, the curve will be looking upwards towards a positive direction but because it's negative your curve actually will need to look downwards kind of similar to what I've drawn here so if you just read this question it kind of tells you hey you need to draw a ball up and it to come down so you you can imagine this shape but at the same time this graph actually proves that it's supposed to be like this because it's a parabola pretty much as to what you call this kind of curve a quadratic equation when you draw it as a parabola when it is negative up front here at the t squared area it means it needs to be facing down towards the negative so this is an accurate diagram is really what I'm trying to get to there well as a result of this one of the things they would then want you to be able to do is solve this on the uh, on the test well the question asked us for by the way this is the um, the height the h because the question says h or blah blah with a t in it so this is the h part and this is the t part kind of like your y and x okay now when they ask us the question says approximately how many seconds will the ball hit the ground right so it's asking us when the ball will hit the ground the time well if you kind of think about this just in just in a real sense if you think about what's happening um, if you think about what's happening a ball will be will hit will pretty much be on the ground in two places here at the beginning so at zero and at some point later on after zero which the only the thing we really need to figure out is what this point is um, this is the one that we need to figure out what this area is so um, essentially what we need to just do then is make uh, but, but then question is when the ball is on the ground the height is zero isn't it the height is zero when it's on the ground when you're holding it and also throw it up and when it lands it's also the h is at zero so that allows us to take this equation this um, h equation and make the h here zero so i'm going to start by saying zero equal to negative 4.9 t squared plus 25 t okay that's what this allows me to do and then we can then try to solve this so just some basic math here um, what's common is the t so i'm going to pull the t out as a t i'm just going to pull t out and in parentheses you have negative 4.9 still with the t plus 25 okay and this is still equal to zero and then uh, mathematically what this allows us to do uh, is to make this t equal to zero and all this entire equation equal to zero you have to make both of them equal to zero so I'm going to go ahead and say well t is equal to zero well we already kind of know that because we said one of the times when the height will be when the ball will be on the ground one of those heights is when the t is zero so we know that from just this equation the other time is this second one that we need to solve so that equation is going to look more like this it's going to be negative 4.9 t plus 25 is equal to zero so obviously that allows me to move 25 to the right side so it's negative 4.9 t equal to negative 25 and when you do that uh, it's gives you, going to change signs anytime you move a number across an equal to uh, symbol it changes the sign so obviously we want this t so we need to divide by 4.9 on both sides whatever you do to the left you have to do to the right 
that goes away here. So what we are left with now is t is equal to negative 25 over negative 4.9. This section will be a calculator section on the test, so go ahead and type that in your calculator. And that would be 5.10. So it's going to, it's at about 5 seconds, 5.10. It's about 5 seconds or so this stuff will land on the ground again. And that would be around here, about 5.1 seconds. If you look at the answer choices, the question did say about after approximately. So that means they're allowing us to round this number a little bit because they used approximately in the question. So the answer here will be D. The answer will be D. So this is actually, to be honest, a physics question. Um, but on the new SAT, they're requiring you to be able to hand, answer some of these questions um, later on in the test. Um, this, these are the more advanced questions on this SAT, on the new SAT 2016. So enjoy. Hope you uh, wish you very best on the test. And join us on successprep.com for more videos and for more test prep and tips and help and ways in which we can help you prepare for the new SAT 2016.